What's up guys, welcome to the show. Uh, we just got a quick update for you this week. Uh, we missed you last week, but we had some uh, things going on. It was my fault, but uh, it doesn't matter. We're here for a quick update. Uh, to be honest with you, we don't have too much going on. Uh, we had, uh, last weekend was a pretty relaxed weekend. Actually, I was not here Saturday, but Sunday we had some pretty good on-road racing. We did live stream it if you want to check it out. Um, did Formula One, GT12. Those are really great classes if you're looking to get into the on-road scene. Uh, but enough about that. Switching gears to off-road. Uh, we have our trophy race this Sunday for off-road. And just prior to shooting this, we just did a layout change. Uh, it wasn't a f entire change. We ended up leaving the triple and the hump before the triple and then uh, got rid of the quad, which wasn't really a quad, double-double, and just put a single one in and yep. got rid of the wall ride because it was falling apart. Sorry about that, Justin. Just um, If you want to see a picture of it, obviously Facebook page, like us, and, like us on the Facebook page and check out the whole layout. But that was changed for the off-road trophy race this Sunday. Yep, winter blast. The winter blast. Will you be attending? Uh, no Tyler P. So I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said that on the air. Now nobody's gonna come. I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, winter blast Sunday. Doors open nine as usual. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all we have scheduled for this weekend. Just regular Friday night racing and mini mini racing on Thursday. Nothing crazy. Uh, as far as things going on in the shop. Uh, we did just get a bunch of nice Proline hauler bags in, so if you're looking for that or some pit gear, uh, we got pit mats, Proline hauler bags, some of uh, those tire bags for all the off-road tires. Uh, so just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you check I'll show you that. So a bunch of cool stuff like that for the holiday, Christmas uh, gift-wise. Uh, those Proline hauler bags are really nice. They're probably it's probably the nicest one you can get. Now the Protec one's really nice too, but I think the Proline's just a just a hair better than really. Me. Uh, well, I think it's got a little bit bigger wheels on it, and the handle's a little nicer. Nothing against the Protec one. Those no, are really I have nice the Protec, and bigger, bigger, wider wheels and a stronger handle would be kind of nice. The handle's yeah. a little... It's just slightly better. It's not well, crazy, but it's probably the nicest one, in my opinion. We're going to do a deep dive on hauler bag comparisons? We could, honestly. Drop it in the comments if you want to see it. We could, honestly. I'm gonna... I, I really doubt anybody wants to see that. <laughs> Why not? So this is how you fold up laminated cardboard into a tray. You know something? I'm gonna. I do don't know. It. People watch anything. Now. YouTube is full of stuff. I'm gonna do it now just because Tyler P said nobody will watch it. I'm gonna do it. God bless. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, we're pretty stocked up for the holidays, so you can come down and you can uh, grab stuff for that. Uh, what else we had? Oh, I wanted to talk about the clinic. That's what it was. Yep. Uh, a little recap. You, you got your results back. <laughs> good one <laughs> um so the rc clinic uh went pretty smooth in my opinion we did the four classes had pretty good attendance i think a couple guys missed one or two days but ended up being there uh so it went pretty smooth i feel like the guys in the class definitely improved from the beginning class to the end yep uh so in the beginning of the classes we just did uh just kind of felt it out and you know saw how everybody was make sure their equipment was working it was a good thing we did we ended up changing some parts in quite a few different cars yeah we we caught three or four cars that had issues that needed yeah. to be corrected setting up so. the radios and mechanical issues stuff like that we got it all sorted out and then by the end of it we did a full full race and we had enough guys to do two heats so we went over racing and marshalling and full yeah. race event and uh it's been pretty good um, so those guys, a couple of them have been coming down racing and practicing, so I would count it as successful. Yeah, it was fun. It, it was cool getting to meet new people in a way that, like, isn't by accident. Like, where somebody has right. to come up to a regular and ask questions and they feel like, you know, they're imposing. It was, it was, it was nice. It was a good way to do it. Yeah, it was pretty good. So I, hopefully he watches it, um, or watches this. So Lou um, gave me a thumb drive with... Every issue of Radio Control Car Action, I think from like when they started publishing it to get that? to now, I, I don't know. Apparently, Lou has connections. He seems like the kind of guy. Um, so it's basically a PDF of every single issue, and it, it was in the cup holder in my truck, and I kept forgetting. And finally, I I brought it in, in totally not into work. I wasn't looking at it at work. That would be wrong. That's what I did. Um, it's so cool. I went through some from like 92, 93. There was an article on should I get sponsored 
like oh, really? there there's podcast material in those articles i swear and and it's it's things that like we talk about today the same subjects get rehashed That'll be interesting. That are like, you know, maybe we can talk about some of those. Yeah. Stuff, rehash them. I, they yep. brought up the sponsorship thing. I've actually got something cooking on the side. I can show you for that. But um, I don't know. Have we done any shows about sponsorships? I don't think I know think we've so. probably brushed on it we've, a few we've times. We've talked about the contract driver or the, was it contract customers? They call some, them. Yeah. We, we definitely have talked about it, but I don't know if yeah. we've done an exclusive one about it. Which no, I, could definitely no, I don't done, think we have. Because that gets me fired up. Yep. And it's right up there with trophies. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about trophies in front of him. It gets me fired it's, up. It's bad, but I, I wanted to say uh, it was cool. We can we'll probably make use of those those articles at some point and maybe do like a retro retrospective. But I wanted to say thanks to Lou because that was really cool to uh, to do. So thank you. Yeah, thanks Lou. I'd like to check that out. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in looking at those. Maybe a few topics we can talk about. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, no big electric stuff or yeah, no big electric cars in those those magazines either. It's funny you should say big electric There were a cars. few 8th scale reviews, and they were all, obviously all nitro, because it didn't exist back then. It was kind of cool. Speaking of big electric cars. 5T. The 5T is out there sitting on the counter. We just did a video on that on the big channel. Boy. So you can check that out. Just a quick one. I didn't do any crazy bashing on it or anything. Uh, the boss wouldn't let me do that one, because it is uh, a couple bucks into that truck. Yeah. Um, but we did run it up and down the road. Did about, what, 56, I 56 think. 56 mile an hour. Not bad, and you could definitely squeeze more out of it. The uh, it could accept a much bigger opinion. So that was a pretty, pretty cool truck we did uh, an RC build on that one. So check out the video on the five T. And if you want to see it in person, it's sitting on the front counter. It's kind of hard to miss. The motor is pretty insane. <laughs> it's the size of a Coke can. I just remember the first one we converted with Joe Papa for RC driver, which is a video on that in there too. The PL five conversion. Yep. The motor we used in that was the eight hundred Castle compared to this five sixty. Hobby wing, it's yep. pretty insane. And there the was progress. no, there was no I, like the ESC that you guys used in in the original conversion. That was, a, that was some uh, MGM. It was like a custom job, wasn't no, it? No, they're industrial speed controllers, oh. like for like machinery. Oh, okay. So it was this massive thing that was honestly pretty fragile and the most unintuitive piece of hardware I've ever had to use. Um, hmm. Yeah, it was ridiculous compared to this hobby wing one where we just basically st stuck it in the it's car, a hobby wing. plugged it in, and Forward, calibrated it. Neutral reverse. Yeah, didn't even have to read about it at all. So, the progress from that truck to this truck, we converted it on the bench. I think Justin did it on the bench in like maybe two hours. Yep. With the that was the, st the stupid RC conversion kit, which is it's what that it, is the name. Stupid RC, which. Uh, it seems to be working out well for us. They actually, believe it or not, just after we did that one, uh, a, a week later, they came out with a 12S conversion kit for that big motor. Because we used we Eight. we used the one for the 8S, yeah. which is fine. The motor mount worked and everything, but they had this ring in the back of it that holds the back of the motor from like going up Can't and down. ring? Oh wow! Because it's that heavy. Yeah. yeah, which the kit we bought does it didn't fit because the can is way bigger than the 800. But they just released a 12S one a week later, which we should have gotten. For the, yeah. But the part about that 12S one that I, I didn't like was they got rid of the mechanical brake. Oh. The way they mounted the speed control, they made a plate that sits there, so you couldn't run the, the brake. And why does the mechanical brake come in handy? <laughs> so if you watch that video, I don't I don't think I edited out the part. No. But basically, we were speed running the car back and forth. And we had just put that pinion on there so the Loctite didn't really set in. Uh, and I speed run it down, and when I hit the motor brake, it was enough inertia for the pinion to slide forward. Yeah. And then I lost brakes completely, so I hit the mechanical brake and it was and it still saved you. able to stop the truck. Yeah. Unfortunately, it stopped in the middle of the street, but it at least stopped yeah. and didn't barrel into the ditch. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. So make, and the mechanical brake is nice, too. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's I wish they would bring that back to A-scales. Because we could set the bias front and rear, yeah. so you wouldn't if you're diving too much in the corner, you could put more rear brake in it. Right. I think you should bring it back. And the motor, it takes a lot of strain off that motor. Yeah, your temp, your temps would be better. You battery life would be better. I think it would be cool. Hmm. So we don't use reverse, so why not? But uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know if we have much else. I don't know. Track change and trophy race was the biggest thing we want to talk about. Like I said, it was just a quick one today, guys. We don't have anything too crazy going on with the holidays. I try not to plan too much 
too much uh, stuff around this time of year. So I think we're I think that's about it for us guys. Just a quick one today. I'm gonna have the holler bag special tomorrow. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Tyler P special with holler bag. No, he won't be here. But I'll do it myself. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you guys in the next video.